welcome to your new yoga for confidence. Today you are going to move through about a 30 minute yin yoga sequence and we are going to use poses and affirmations that will connect you deeper to your innate confidence. And confidence can sometimes be a little bit of a tricky word. There might be a part of you that's like, ugh, I don't actually want to be confident or ugh. I know some confident people who I don't really like because they can be a little bit arrogant. Well, first of all, I want to just say that this flavor of confidence that we are looking for, this grounded, humble confidence that we are looking for, is less about proving how fantastic you are, and it's more about connecting to the part of you that knows that you don't have to prove how wonderful you are. You are wonderful, I am wonderful, every single person out there is wonderful. And the more wonderful and the more open we are about who we are with no shame, no hiding any part of ourselves, and the more that we connect with our boundaries and our identity and our sense of self, then the more empowered the whole entire world gets to be. So it's kind of more about that. So let's get on the mat and Let's go. We will begin laying down in a supine twist. So just lower yourself down on your mat and take your left leg out long. Bring your right leg in, give it a little squeeze, and then lower it all the way over to the left side. Extend your right arm out, and you wanna keep your right shoulder connected to the mat as much as you can. Now this is a yin yoga class, which means that we hold these poses for anywhere from two to 10 minutes. We'll probably be holding about three or four for most of them. And it also means that we don't go fully deep into the poses. It's more about reaching a mid sensation. So as you stay with these poses, if no sensation was a one on a scale of one to 10, you can't feel it. And 10 is, this hurts, it's too much sensation. We're looking to cultivate around about a six or maybe a seven, and kind of staying there. So breathing into your belly here, from a yogic perspective, especially when we look at the chakras, our sense of confidence, our sense of self-esteem actually comes from the solar plexus chakra, which is the Manipura chakra, which is the color yellow. And it's all about identity, boundaries, and self-esteem and willpower. Breathing here. It's kind of settling into the body. You'll notice that this class does have moments of silence. As it is a yin practice, as we move through, you'll hear my voice a little less. Bring that right knee back up through center. Extend it down on the mat nice and long. Move your hips to the left side. Left leg comes in. And then we move, we guide the left knee over to the right side. Your right hand can kind of uh, stay on that left thigh. Confidence is all about your relationship with yourself. And we have some affirmations that we'll move through in a moment, but for now, see if you can just kind of begin to reflect on your relationship with yourself. So how do you speak to yourself? 
What do you think about yourself? How do you treat yourself? How attuned are you to your own needs? What is your relationship with yourself? Staying with your breath throughout these poses. Inhale, left knee comes back through center. And exhale, lower it back down. Mindfully using your arms, roll over onto one side, and then lift yourself up to a seated position. We'll begin with half butterfly seated. So bring the left sole of your foot in towards your right inner thigh and rotate your shoulders to the right foot. It's sometimes nice to use a block. And all you're going to do is kind of drape yourself down and you don't need to go as deep as you might normally do. Just find what feels good for you. You can curve your back. Everything is quite passive here. There might be a bend in the right knee. Now I'm going to give you some affirmations and your goal is not to convince yourself that they are true. Your goal is to repeat them to yourself, either internally or muttering them under your breath and notice how they feel. So notice how they feel in your body, how your body responds, or what thoughts you have around them. Or you might even be reminded of something. The first affirmation for this pose is I respect and care for myself. I respect and care for myself. Trying to stay still through these poses, which allows us to take the focus to the joints, the tendons, the ligaments, and the fascia.
using your hands push against the earth and inhale to lift yourself up shoulders stack over your hips Moving slowly, we come to the other side. So this time the left leg comes out long and the sole of the right foot comes to the inner thigh of the left leg. Shoulders point towards your left foot and drape yourself down. And many times each side is a little different. So sometimes I'm kind of up here and sometimes I'm further down, that's fine. Just notice where you are today and take your time to find a position where you can remain for the next three minutes. The affirmation for this pose is, it is safe to be my true self. It is safe to be my true self. Using your hands, begin to lift yourself up. Coming to our next pose, you have two options. Option number one is to take Sukhasana. So this is just a cross-legged pose. We'll start with the right shin in front. And that might feel good for you. And if you have a little more external hip rotation, what you can do is you can place your right shin on top of the left, so taking the right ankle towards the left knee and then lower this right knee down. Now you can see when I do that, there is a lot of space in between my left foot and my right knee. This is partially to do with my hip structure and partially to do with my hip flexibility. It doesn't feel good for me. There's a lot of pressure on this knee. So if that's your situation like mine, Go ahead and take Sukhasana. If not, and square pose, which is with the one on top, if that feels good for you, go ahead with that one. What we'll do is we will direct our shoulders over towards the left knee and the right foot, and then lower down. So there's a little bit of a twist here. I like to use my walk. Find your position. And the affirmation for this pose is, I am strong, courageous, 
and powerful. I am strong, courageous, and powerful. Staying with your breath and maybe even breathing sensation into the parts, sorry, breathing into the sensation in the parts that you feel the sensation. Sending your breath into those little pockets, into that space. Almost as if you are breathing through a straw and directing it into that place. Once again, palms on the earth. Inhale, lift your shoulders up. Exhale. We'll move to the other side. So as simple as either left shin in front now, or maybe taking that left shin on the top. Once you're there, rotate your shoulders to the right side and drape your shoulders down, maybe using a block, a pillow, a bolster, your hands. The affirmation for this pose is, I set boundaries with ease. I set boundaries with ease.
Notice if your body is tensing up in any parts, so that be your fingertips, your jaw, your toes, the parts of your hips. Breathe into this, come back to your affirmation. Placing your palms on the earth. And now to lift yourself up. If you are using a block of some sort, just put it aside. And we'll come to lay on our backs. Little reset here. Bring the knees in towards the armpits. Happy baby. Stack the ankles on top of the knees. Soles the feet point towards the sky. Grab a hold of the outside edge of your feet or your ankles and lower back is connected to the earth. You might even use a strap around the ball of the foot. The affirmation for this pose is I trust my inner compass. I trust my inner compass. Lower the feet back down towards your hips and extend both legs out on the mat. Move your hips over to the right slightly. Taking one of my favorite poses, Bananasana, both feet move to the left corner of the mat and you might even cross your right ankle over the left. And then take both of your shoulders towards the left. Grab a hold of opposite elbows above your head and pull the right hip back down. Make any adjustments here so that you're in this banana-like pose. Nice side bend here, but you're not collapsing into the lower back. Once you've found your position, come back to your breath and our affirmation is my confidence inspires others. My confidence inspires others.
then begin to release the top of the feet off of the left. Release the elbows. Take your hips towards the left side. Shoulders and feet towards the right. Lananasana on the left side. The affirmation here is I deserve to go after my dreams. I deserve to go after my dreams. Begin releasing this pose. Bring your hands down by your side and your feet flop out to the sides of the mat. A moment here in Shavasana to assimilate the benefits of the practice, to receive. You'll hear my voice in a minute. into the your toes and your fingers. Roll into one side. Use your hands to lift yourself to a seated position. Bringing your hands to heart center, we will close the practice with the mantra on one time. Inhaling to chant. for joining me in this practice you made it to the end congratulations we can celebrate that if you enjoyed this practice and you are interested in taking your yoga practice a little bit deeper check out the links below i have something very special for you and if you happen to be watching this the day that it is out and you have alopecia like me next week we start our live series of yoga with alopecia we have one spot left and you're officially invited. All of the information that you need is in the link below that says yoga for alopecia. 
If you enjoyed this practice and you would like to see more videos like this, please let me know so I know that I'm going to make them. You can do that by liking this video, subscribing to this video, and leaving me a comment. I would love to know which affirmation stood out to you for either good reasons or maybe some not so comfortable reasons. Thank you for joining me in this practice. Have a wonderful rest of your day.